Bamboo crops in parts of western India have been depleted by the paper industry, and that hurts local villagers who rely on the plants to make baskets and other products. Professor Madhav Gagil works with villagers to keep the ecosystem balanced and let the bamboo groves flourish. Earlier, uh, they were exploited through the state machinery and largely they were auctioned off uh, to traders, to industries. Now the communities have rights to manage these. Gagil says for generations, villagers have preserved parts of the forest as sacred, something that also happens in other parts of Asia. He serves as a bridge between local people and the government, which wants to promote modern management techniques. Documenting these sacred forests, kind of biodiversity resources that have been conserved, what is the traditional motivation, what is now in the current context possible. In Los Angeles, Scott Gill met this year's other honoree, Jane Lubchenko, a marine ecologist. She served four years as the head of the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Last year, President Barack Obama named her U.S. science envoy for the ocean. Lubchenko has worked with U.S. fishermen to restore depleted fisheries through a program called Catch Shares. It grants fishing rights to fishermen, but limits their catch in affected areas. The system has its critics, but also many supporters, and Lubchenko says it has restored depleted stocks. Our basic ideas of oceans is that they are so immense, so bountiful, that we could take anything out and put anything in and it wouldn't make much of a difference. And we've discovered that's simply not the case. Lubchenko acknowledges limiting fishing on the high seas is difficult. Uh, there are a lot of efforts underway to rein in overfishing, but it remains a huge challenge and it has global ramifications. She says that governments must lead and local communities must be part of the solution. Madhav Gagil says the same is true of the Indian villagers he works with. They have a substantial amount of understanding, local understanding of that resource base and what is impacting it, how, what might be good sustainable use practices. The prize winners say the balance of life in the ocean and on the land is essential for a healthy planet and for healthy communities. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.